We're building our own uh, battery cells. Uh, we, th we think the most advanced uh, cell in the world here at Giga Texas. And uh, we think over time this will probably be the, the biggest uh, cell factory in the world. Over the last few months, Tesla has been fairly quiet about the production of its new 4680 battery cell that enables its new structural battery pack design. This has been a concern for Tesla investors since the new battery technology is seen as critical to Tesla's future vehicle programs. But in Tesla's second quarter of 2022 earnings call, it has brought updates regarding the production ramp of the new 4680 type battery cells at Gigafactory Texas. So how is the production of 4680 at Giga Texas going? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, we'd appreciate it very much if you could subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you won't miss out on the latest episodes where we give you the latest and most up-to-date info on Tesla and the world of EV and green technology. Now let's get started on today's content. Tesla announced that it aims to start 4680 battery cell production at Gigafactory Texas this quarter and will quickly ramp up to volume production by the end of the year. The concerns grew larger as the automaker launched Model Y production at Gigafactory Berlin with the old architecture based on 2170 cells. And after launching Model Y production at Gigafactory Texas with 4680 cells, it recently added the production of Model Y vehicles with the old architecture at the Austin factory as well. Everything pointed to Tesla having major issues ramping up production of the new and much bigger cell. Much of Tesla's conference call with analysts and shareholders for the release of its second quarter 2022 financial results yesterday revolved around the 4680 cell. The automaker confirmed that it is having issues ironing out production processes for new technologies in the cell, including its dry electrode technology. Tesla wouldn't confirm its current 4680 cell production rate, but it did confirm that it is still not enough to produce a thousand vehicles per week, which would put the annual production capacity at less than 4 gigawatt hours, but it aims to achieve that well before the end of the year. Andrew Buglino, Tesla's senior VP of powertrain and energy engineering, said during the call that the company will start production of the new 4680 cylindrical cells at Giga Texas this quarter and expects to ramp production by the end of the quarter. In a reply to a question from an investor regarding the 4680 production ramp at Giga Texas, Buglino said Tesla expects the facility to make enough cells for more than a thousand battery packs per week by year's end. We are making progress on 4680, but right now, as Elon mentioned, we are leveraging supplier cells, which we have in sufficient quantity to ramp Texas and Berlin. We expect to ramp until 4680 production exceeds 1000 per week by the end of the year, hopefully before, well before. He added that Tesla hopes the battery factory in Austin can exceed the weekly output of Fremont's Cato Road facility by the end of 2022. The pilot line in California is currently supplying 4680 batteries for the Tesla Model Y production at Giga Texas. Our target for Texas is to begin production this quarter and aim for Texas to be capable of exceeding Cato weekly output before the end of this year. Buglino added that Tesla unlocked major increases in 4680 production at the Cato facility in the second quarter, with output growing 35% month over month each month since March of 2022. The valuable lessons learned from Fremont's Cato pilot line are being applied to the 4680 production lines in Austin and Berlin. According to Buglino, the 4680 lines in the new plants are basically carbon copies of the one on Cato Road. That said, there are some new ramp challenges to overcome in Texas and Berlin. Last quarter, Tesla fully installed 4680 cell equipment in Austin and produced its first sets of 4680 cells at the facility. More specifically, Buglino said Tesla commissioned its first car sets of cells through the end of the line. Elon Musk said in his opening remarks to the second quarter of 2022 earnings call that Tesla has enough 2170 cells to support all vehicle production for the rest of the year. He also pointed out that 4680 cells will truly make a difference in 2023, not this year. The fact that Tesla plans for 4680 cell production at Gigafactory Texas to exceed production from the Cato facility by the end of this year is particularly impressive. 
Tesla always meant to learn from the production at the pilot facility and deployed more advanced and higher volume production lines at both Gigafactory Texas and Berlin. So how are Tesla's 4680 battery suppliers planning to invest? Tesla's battery suppliers are also working on the company's 4680 cell. In June, the EV automaker's longtime battery partner Panasonic shipped out the first 4680 samples to Tesla. The Japanese battery suppliers started large-scale prototype production in May. The remarks hint at plans for a new plant in the US that will help Tesla as it continues its EV dominance. Anonymous sources noted that Panasonic has its eye on Kansas and Oklahoma as potential factory sites that would supply Tesla's new Gigafactory in Texas. This wasn't the only presentation to investors by Panasonic. Executives from the company's automotive business predicted that the semiconductor shortage would continue to persist. CEO of Panasonic Automotive Masashi Nagayasu said, We will be running our business as we consider risks of fluctuations on vehicle production. Panasonic gets around 15% of its total revenue from the automotive unit, and the company expects sales to climb to 19% through March of 2023. Tesla is already using the 4680 cylindrical cells in the new Made in Texas Model Y vehicles produced at, you guessed it, Giga Texas. It's only a matter of time before all new EVs produced by Tesla will have the new cells. Earlier this year, Tesla, which also produced its own 4680 cells, announced that it passed 1 million 4680 cells. Also earlier this year, Panasonic announced a $700 million investment to expand the Wakayama battery factory and plans to bring in new equipment to manufacture the new 4680 cells. Considering that March 2022 is just a couple of months behind us, it does seem as if March 2023 is pretty far off. However, time has been flying and it's already August. And Tesla customers not only in Texas but around the world are looking forward to the next generation of vehicles with the most powerful 4680 battery pack. How do you feel about the growth of Giga Texas? Are you looking forward to owning a Model Y with a 4680 battery pack? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, with that last bit of news concludes today's episode. If you enjoyed what today's video entailed, please let us know with a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already as well as ringing that bell so you won't miss out on exciting updates from us. In any case, from all of us here, we hope to see you again next time. Until then, from all of us here at Tesla Car World, we hope you have a good one and be safe.